Today I'm be showing you guys how I ship big heavy items for my eBay store. Let's get How's it. How's it going guys? My name is Dave Play. I'm a full-time eBay reseller. I currently have a 15,000 item eBay store and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I ship big items. I've been getting that question a lot um, in the comments. So I'm gonna be showing you guys quick how I storage them. So right here is where Reset. I store all my big items and receivers, amps, um, you know, just a bunch of big items, uh, big speakers, subwoofers, all that stuff. And basically I keep a pretty standard size box that could fit most of these. And sometimes I do have to have like a special box. Um, like let's say like this thing was already in the box. Yeah, sometimes I just have to go to Staples and buy a box or U-Haul, they have really big boxes in case it's like a massive items. But for the most part, the boxes that I have fit all these items and they'll more than likely fit. If not, I'll join two boxes. So here guys, I found these at my local recycling center. So I didn't have to buy them. And they're basically a 15 by 13 by 19 size box. And I have hundreds of these uh, or a couple hundred of them, but they're pretty good right now. I'm gonna uh, throw an item in here so I can demonstrate how it looks like when it's all uh, put together. But um, you wanna keep you know, a good size box that can fit most, of, most receivers, most amps and most subwoofers. Um, so yeah guys, I definitely con uh, consider I would consider you guys to get boxes ready to go before you start buying bigger items so that you have them ready to go. And if you buy, need to buy a special box, you can just go get one really fast um, just for like a special type of item. And right here, I have these. Uh, um, they're actually lids for these boxes, and I've just been keeping them because I use these as like padding once I fold them up. Um, and I can show you guys how I do that as well. Um, on this one item, actually, I am going to need some. So I'm just going to set up the uh, phone right here on the tripod and demonstrate how I do these. Um, this is the first one and then I'm gonna do these medium ones medium items and bigger ones um, These are all the ones I have to ship today. These are already these are like open box Already ready to go. I just have to put the label on them But I'm gonna demonstrate how I ship the labels as well in case you're like completely new to like um, Doing stuff like that. So yeah guys, I'm gonna get it started and here we go Ooh, So it's super hot right here in the warehouse. I normally have a fan on um, that's actually right behind this that blows pretty good air but I don't want to have it on because it's going to mess with audio. Uh, but basically, I buy these. Um, I believe it's, let me see the label right here. Um, this size is 3 16ths bubble, uh, the bubble height. Um, and I buy two of these and I buy the I buy the 5 16ths uh, bubble height, um, which is just a little thicker. I use this for the bigger items and I use the other one for the smaller items when it's just a few uh, or like one little wrap, you know, when it's not a, like a big deal. It's not a fragile item. I'll use that. It just depends. Um, but I keep them both right here on this little closet rack and we just bought the pole and we just uh, screwed it onto the wall. So that's that's pretty much it for that. And right now I'm gonna bubble wrap this item. I know it's gonna fit in one of those boxes. So first I'm gonna assemble that box so I can just throw it in once it's bubble wrapped. All right, so now we're closing it up. So right here it closes like that. And now I just tape it up. stick right to it so now the box is set once I'm done um, bubble wrapping this I'm gonna throw it in here so now I just put this here and I'm gonna use the thicker one just because it's better for this so now I'm gonna set this like that I'm gonna pull it all the way out and this is how I always do it and I'm gonna set this side first I'm gonna do it like that because has a handle already right there so I'm gonna roll it like this and then I'm gonna start twisting it and if it's if it's a more fragile item, you know, I'll be more careful. But with this one, I can probably twist it pretty quickly. Um, it's like 50 pounds. You can hear it just popping. So I'm going to keep doing that until I feel like it has a good amount of bubble wrap. It's like 105 degrees outside, and I have no uh, air flowing here right now. Uh, here we go. So I'm good getting the, getting the workout in, right? Bam, right there, that's a good amount. Probably has like three layers right here. And I'm gonna move this, pull it off straight again, and now we're gonna do it the other way. So, like this. Bam, all the way around. Bam, and now we're gonna start twisting this one. Bam. Let me get it nice and tight. 
a little tape right here. Put a little tape over here. Over here as well. Bam. Bam. So now we move this. Put the table up top. And now, uh, this is actually going to be pretty tight in here. I think it should be pretty good. I'll just put a little bit more tape. So now I just put it in here. Bam, look, and it fit perfect. I don't know if you guys can see. It fit perfect in here. Um, I think I might put one of those little lids I was talking about on the side. The office boxes that I have, like files. So I just break them up right here, get the lid open, and then I close them up. I use these actually like almost every day. Um, and I have a ton because I kept all the all the lids. So now we have a good good little firm uh, flat thing that I can put right here. And now I just kind of shove it in here and just make, it, make sure it's just like tight. So now it's like, it's a little more scrunched up in here. Um, it's pretty folded up, but it's gonna, it's gonna create a good uh, little, you know, structure for it. And now I close it up, bam, bam. And now we close it up tight. Boom, boom. This is all done. So now we just move this out of the way. And I'm gonna just demonstrate uh, on a medium item right here. This is a, it's like a type of radio. Um, I listed it like a long time ago, almost like a year ago, and I let it go really cheap. I think it went for like 30 bucks, but I, at some point I had it for like 100. Uh, but yeah, at least it's gone now. Now we're gonna do the same thing. Go this way, it's actually really light. And this is gonna go in a medium flat rate uh, box. So it's gonna be a, a flat one, a long one. I think I have some. Can't even uh, describe how hot it is in here right now. I think it's like hotter than outside if I don't have the, my cooler going. But hey, I'm trying to pump out these videos. There we go, close it up. And now we're just gonna put it in there. It's gonna be a little tight, but it's okay. Bam, look at that. Now we just close it up. I'd rather it be tight than loose, so um, it's not gonna be perfect, but it's, it's gonna be okay. So now we have it like here, it has a little bit of glue already on there. You can get these at usps.com under the free shipping supplies and you can order them to your doorstep in case you didn't know. So now we, uh, it kind of glued it up a bit, but I'm still put some tape so it doesn't open up. Bam. And actually I forgot to take the number off of this one, so, so I can remember. What I do is I package all my stuff up and then I put the labels on. Uh, so after that, I'll just put like a medium box uh, label and that's it. But I'll just put like uh, radio on this one. And I'll remember it. I think it's the only uh, flat rate medium box that's long that I'm doing. So I'll just put a radio and I'll remember. So bam, that one's done. Now we're gonna do this Dyson right here. And now actually I, on all my items, I have the numbers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put it here to the side. Actually a subscriber commented, why don't I just put the stickers on the box? I don't know why I didn't think of it, but uh, it helped me out a lot because now I do that. I used to mark the number on the um, on the box. I used to use the marker, but now it just saves me a, lot, a little bit more time. So here we go. This is a normal medium flat rate. And uh, I've been throwing these in here for a while, uh, for like uh, the last six months I've been doing it. And it just works way better and, and it stays pretty tight. So here on this one, I'm not gonna use a thick bubble wrap. I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna just get one good layer, like this. Bam, and that's it. There, let me close it up. I'm not gonna do it all the way around. I think that's pretty good, and I've, I've always done them like this, and they never get damaged on the way. So now we get it in here kind of tight, like that. Um, and it kind of pushes it out on the side, but it's still close. So now we just kind of force it a little bit, bam, bam. And now it's, it's ready to go. And I still have the number right there. So I'm gonna put the number on there. So now when I put the dice in, remember, I'll see the number there, I'll know which one it is. And I'll just put medium flat rate box. So that's another one. Woo! Let's see, I'm gonna show you guys this toilet. Um, it's one of those that like, you know, cleans uh, cleans your uh, behind with. Uh, I forgot what they're called. Uh, but yeah, uh, this sold for like 90 bucks. Uh, and I sold it for parts, because I don't know if it works or not. And 
you know, to test it out, it's gonna be kind of a hassle. So I just threw it for parts, still sold for 90. If it works, it's like 200. So, you know, I, I, I think that's pretty good. And I got it super cheap. And that big white thing, the first one I did, that one sold for like 200. And I have no idea what it is. <laughs> like it just looked interesting and I put it up for like 350, but I got an offer for 200 and I let it go. And then, a crisscross right there. And we're gonna get one of those um, those boxes that I have right there. I think it's gonna perfectly. Here we have another box, we're gonna close it up. You could get boxes that are around this size on eBay. They're gonna run you about a dollar or two each. Um, they're kind of pricey, uh, but uh, it's worth it. You know, I used to buy them as well, but I just got lucky going to my recycling place and companies. If you go to a recycling uh, place, uh, like for cardboard, you can go and see if companies, uh, you know, throw away brand new boxes. This is from like a company. Like, I don't even know what that is. But they're like a local company and um, they throw away a bunch of boxes like consistently. So, you know, we go and pick them up when we go and throw away our personal cardboard because we get a lot here too. So, you know, we just get rid of it like that and we um, bring some back. Let's see if I can get this in here. First stuff going on. So it's going to be kind of tight. So I'm going to just kind of move it to the side right here. Ooh. There we go. Look at that. Beauty. So now, let me show you guys. So I just kind of angled it a little bit and smacked it down. Um, and that's going to fit pretty good. Go, and now we just tape it up. This is the only other box um, of these brown ones that I'm gonna ship through. I don't need to put anything, I'll just, this one's like, you know, 50 pounds, the other one's like 50, so I'll know which one is which. And uh, you know, this is kind of indented right here. So I'll remember that. Um, right here I have these Roombas, and I used to ship them on a bigger box, but it used to be so much more expensive. So what I do now is I grab these. These are also, these aren't uh, flat rates, but they're priority boxes and they're uh, 12 by 12 by eight. And I use these a lot for Roombas because I always get a ton of Roombas. So right here we're gonna close it up. And I've never, I've probably sold hundreds of Roombas like this, pre-owned. Um, but I hardly put um, any bubble wrap on them and I think it's better that way so they fit in there and they're tight and they don't really move. So let, let me show you. So I'll put, I'll put the thin one, bam, one roll, and then I'll flip it and I'll just put it in there. Because if I put too much and it's not gonna fit in that box, then in that, in that box it'll be nice and tight and uh, it'll avoid it from damaging. But bam, that's good. So I'm gonna get this box 12 by 12 by eight, like flat. And now we kind of, I kind of like tug it in like that. So now we close it up and it's like, it looks kind of weird, but it's in there. And I, I've sold a, a ton like that and I always do them like this. More. And this is the number because I have two Roombas that are, that are going in this same size box. So I don't want to mix those up. So there we go. And I'm actually going to do one more real quick. You know what, I'm actually, so the video's not as long. That's the same exact procedure I'm gonna do right there. Um, let's see. This item right here actually might have to go in one of the ones, uh, one of those brown ones, it's pretty big. So let's roll this one up. This is like a charging dock for Motorola walkie talkies. I think it's for like 60 bucks. There you go. Bam. I might be able to fit in a large fly rate, but I think it might be a little too tight because uh, they're pretty skinny. So I'm, I'm not gonna risk it and I'm gonna just throw one of these boxes. Damn. Here we go. Real, real good. Tape it up. So it 
actually fits extremely loose down there. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do so it fits kind of tight. So I'm gonna grab a knife, kind of lay it flat right here, watch. So I'm gonna cut it on each corner. This is a little hack that I do. And I'm gonna fold them basically and then tape it over. So it's not gonna be the prettiest, but it'll work. Bam. Hot in here. <laughs> so now I cut them all in the same corners, um, you know, kind of similar. So now we're going to bring them down. Damn, look at that. Let me fold this one this way. Look at that. Beauty. Eh, not really beautiful, but it'll be alright. There we go. Let me close this up. because um, it's a weird, weird box. All right guys, so I'm just gonna do one more. I just have one more that's like a medium long flat rate right here. Um, and the rest, you know, are, are pretty pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty much the same procedure, um, which this one is pretty much the same as well as the other one, but it'll be all right. So, let's see. This is like a, what was it called? Like a DVR for cameras or something like that. Um, it's sold for about 50 bucks. So, bam. So now we open this one up. almost perfectly but it doesn't um i just gotta smack it down a little bit but it still fits pretty great there we go look at that yeah beauty i put the number on this one so i don't mess them up with this other one that it was flat so right here guys i just showed you how i packaged these up really fast bam look at that um all i have is this vacuum which i can fit it in a long large flat rate and this is actually going to want a priority flat rate envelope and these two are going in a normal medium box these are already packaged up so that's all i'm going to do right there um and i'm going to show you guys just one that i'm going to package up that's a different size so you guys can see how you enter in the um the right, dimension i ended up packaging all the items up and i usually spread them out like this uh, especially those because i could just slap the labels on them because they're a certain size well, except these, these I just um, throw them on the scale and see how much they are, but these are 12 by 12 by eight. I don't have to measure them. First thing I'm gonna do is that toilet. Um, it's 12 pounds on the dot. Uh, you could barely see, bam, or I'm gonna just put 12 pounds on that. Uh, so now right here on my, sh on my shipping page, I'm gonna look for the toilet, <laughs> the toilet. So you click purchase shipping label. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna measure it out. So I already know what the size is of that box. All right, so right here, I'm gonna measure this out. And it's a little more than 19 because um, I stretch it out. So we're just gonna call it 20. And right here, it is 13, uh, or actually it's 12. So we'll call it 12 and 15. So here we're gonna put 19, 15, and 12. And it weighs uh, 12 ounce or 12 pounds, and we'll just put one ounce. So be accurate. And we we just wait now. And I never use priority uh, because it's a little more expensive. Actually, they paid um, 107 total, and they paid 17 dollars for shipping. But I'm gonna put UP, uh, USPS, and it's like 21 dollars with um, USPS, and with UPS, it's actually 1570. So it's you know, it's a good little chunk of change that you could save over time. You know, you, you do save a lot of money um, by doing this. Um, sometimes FedEx is a little cheaper. I'll go with them. Whoever's the, the cheapest, 
I'll go with them. So right here, I'm gonna just print shipping label and it is $15 to ship that one. So now I'm gonna do, let's see, uh, we'll do this one uh, because it's a different size just to show you guys one more example and then we're gonna call it a day. Okay, so, so right here at that weird box that we did, um, we're just gonna measure it out again and weigh it out and just enter in all the stuff. There you go. Bam, should be like 19, yep, 19, you know, 13 again, or 12 and Right there, six. Oh, we'll call it seven because it's kind of a lifted up right there. So we're gonna put 19, 12, and seven. 19, I don't think it matters what um, order you put the dimensions in. Um, I realized that, you know, it kind of works either way, but I'll try to put biggest number over here, um, medium and smallest in the middle always. I don't know, but that's just how I do it. So now we're gonna put how much it weighs and it weighs 11 pounds. Um, something's wrong with my scale, I bought it on eBay, but it's I've had it for two years. For some reason it's doing that. I think I'm gonna change out the charging cable. I think that's what's going on. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just change that. So 11 pounds, I'll just round it up. And so here are the options, UPS, $13. And the thing is as well, I could probably go with FedEx, but it's completely out of the way in the town I live in. UPS, if I'm doing one UPS order, I'll try to do them all UPS. Sometimes I will spend a little extra just so I don't have to make that trip all the way over there just for that one item. Alrighty guys, so I slapped the label on that one. Um, I'm just gonna finish those up and call it a day for here at the warehouse. Uh, pictures are done and all that stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate you guys um, supporting me, you know, even though I'm not consistent right now, but I do want to, you know, um, I'm having fun with my life right now and I'm also running the business so you know thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys learned something new um comment down below what other whatever what other videos you guys want to see and i'll catch you guys also later. if you guys are interested in buying bulk items um for your store i have electronics for sale down on my website below if you guys are interested or you can dm me on instagram we can work something out thank you guys for so much for watching again and i'll catch you guys later